Yeah, it's a, uh, it's an odd time. Like I, I also worked gig work during the pandemic. Like I, uh, and then oh, you did wow. And then I did uh, for like, I don't know, for six months because the company I worked for, they wanted to put me on a schedule I couldn't deal with. I worked gig work for about six months uh, for that. And uh, so I have a personal stake in how bad this actually is. Mm -hmm. Uh, At first it seemed okay because you get lots of deliveries or lots of trips. If you're doing Uber, you get lots of, uh, lots of good opportunities. It feels like. But then as you go, you start to realize, well, I'm spending more and more time sitting in a parking lot doing nothing, and I can't contact anybody to see what the hell's going on and why I haven't had a delivery in two hours. (laughs) So it's very, it's very like, yeah, it's very like you're stuck just thinking like, am I doing something wrong? How do I survive if I don't get a delivery soon? Right. And there is... There's no anybody to contact. Right, right. right? So, <laughs> so even that is an illusion when you're working for, for AI because there's – so there's two complementary impossibility scenarios for AI. One, and, and it's particularly called black box AI because the output that comes out of it is completely a product of a process that is, number one, unexplainable – Mm-hmm. by definition and for humanity and number two ununderstandable even if you could explain it <laughs> that's a that's a real big problem for humanity to turn our uh, economic sovereignty over to a figure that becomes essentially the the oracle the god of our little uh, app world and that's why that's why it becomes app slavery is right. that we trapped in this new vortex that is not organic. It's not the real world. We just act like it is and it moves us around like playing pieces in the real world.